everybody, Captain Spartacus here. We're back playing Ark Survival Evolved on the Xbox One. And we are here uh, in our base that is at approximately 85-55-ish that we kind of went through last time. We built uh, the foundations of our of our house castle area up there on the top. And, uh, and so we're here in the workshop. And I thought we'd start off today's video by doing something pretty sweet. Uh, I've got, if you look, I've got all of the, let's see, structures, metal, storage. I've got everything ready. Oh, except for polymer. Okay, we. I just need to gather up some more polymer. That's just um, cementing paste and obsidian. And I'm going to make a vault. And it can hold like 150 things or like 300 things or something. I don't know. But the vaults are big. They're super expensive. You can see they cost freaking 500 metal. Uh, the cementing paste and oil are not that big of a deal, but the polymer is hard and the metal, of course, is really, really hard. So I'm just going to gather up a little bit more polymer and we're going to get a vault built today. And the vaults are going to go right here against this wall, which is one of the reasons why I haven't um, closed in the workshop yet. I mean, I guess I could put walls over here, but I want to put the vaults on this wall and then we'll work on getting a roof and... And uh, I'll work on I'll, I'll work on finishing the workshop, but I'm gonna go gather up that polymer, and we're gonna make a vault, and I'll be right back. Hey, what's going on, everybody? We're back. We're just crafting up the last of the polymer that we need. We're almost there. I went up and I went to the volcano. It's super super far away, and uh, harvested a bunch of obsidian with our Anki spike, and um, and flew all the way back. Holy cow! It took so stinking long. These. Vaults are so expensive. Uh, I, I would like to get a couple, uh, but I'll probably get them on my own at some point. I don't think I'm going to do them on camera. But it's going to be really great uh, as soon as they're done. We only need five more polymer, and then we're going to craft this bad boy, and I'm probably going to clear the queue so that we can just craft the vault right away. Okay, good. This is the last one. Let's clear the queue. And let's do it. We're going to make a vault. I'm so excited for this. Um, it'd be nice to have a couple of vaults, like I said, so that I could have, like, um, and it only weighs 20. Tell me how that works, right? Um, so that I could have, like, a wood vault, a thatch vault, you know what I mean? Like a vault for each raw material. Wait, that's not very big, man. I really thought that these were, like, tons bigger. Alright, it's fine. No, it's totally fine. I like it a lot. So let's just put this first one, oh, you know what? Maybe over here. I like that. All right. All right. All right. I like it. Right. Oh, no. I did like it. I did like it. Right there. Oh, yes. Our first vault. Look at that bad boy. I love it. It's all right. It comes pre-rusted. So that's uh, that's nice. How many slots we got? 150 storage slots. So that is going to be awesome. So I'm probably going to make a couple more vaults on my own at some point. I really thought those were bigger. Like I thought that they were just like gigantic. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of a of a mod on the computer or something. Uh, yeah, I know Spike is flying. When I dropped him off, oh, we're a little frozen. When I dropped him off with the um, with Umbrasil, uh, he just kind of flies. So Ark gets a little janky sometimes. It says move closer to ride. I can't move any closer. I'm like I'm like in his booty right now. And I can't get on him. So I'm going to have to pick him up with Umbrasil again and like try to replace him. And sometimes they just do silly funny things. So anyway, so that's our vault. Um, and I've got this foundation set. We're going to build a super big greenhouse right here. And it's going to be so stinking good. Uh, so this is where the big greenhouse is going to go. We're going to grow all the vegetables and narco berries and probably medjo berries if we've got space. I'm really, really excited for that. Um, and then, I don't know what else we want to do with the rest of this space. It, it might be a little too... I don't know if we want to put our... Um, what you call it? If we want to start like an egg farm or a kibble farm out here. Uh, maybe start putting the dinos over in this, in this area for the kibble farm. Or maybe like over here. I don't know. So we're going to figure out something else to do with this space, but I thought that today would be really fun to um, build this greenhouse. So I'm going to get some more of the materials together and we're going to build a greenhouse today and it's going to be super, super awesome. And I'll be right back. All right, everyone. Welcome back. I've done a little bit of work, a little bit of gathering. I'll bring you in now for the uh, uh, intermediate, for the middle bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this won't be the whole build. I'll have to go back and get even more resources. Man, this just takes a really long time, but I thought I'd 
bring you in and we'd um, just do some placements. So we need to put that back. We need the door. Let's grab that and that. Okay. Awesome. Oh, well, let's put those on our hotbar here. All right, these go there, and we'll put the door frame there, and put the door door right there. Oh, that's good. All right, so let's start with the door frame. I said. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm. Oh well, I have two ramps, but of course you can only do a one white door unless I want to make another one, but that wouldn't make like a ton of sense. No, that wouldn't make any sense. All right, we'll just break this ramp down. No big deal. I thought it would be. Uh, I thought it would be better to have just ramps in the middle, but yeah, you can only do it one wide, so what am I even doing? Okay. So we're gonna place, so we've got just stone foundations, and then you place your greenhouse glass, greenhouse glass walls around the outside here. And so you need uh, glass walls and glass roof pieces, and that's how you get your greenhouse effect, so. Uh, if you do, if you do anything but glass walls or um, roof pieces, you won't, you won't get the full greenhouse effect. All right, we'll take that. So I'll be able to do almost a second level to the greenhouse. I want to do well. I could probably just stick with the second and then maybe do some slopes, slope it up. That'd be nice, right? I'll do that. All right, all right. So then after we build the greenhouse, uh, we need to get it irrigated. So we need to bring in some water from the ocean. That would be the easiest way, I think. So I'll have to build a whole bunch of stone pipe. So we can put the tap out here. And so it'll tap the water here, and we can just bring it pretty much just straight through, right? I think we can bring it under the door just fine. And then uh, maybe I'll make some reservoirs here on the side. I think that'd be a nice touch. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll make some reservoirs and then uh, I'll get the sloped roof on the top and I'll bring you back in and we'll check it out. It's gonna be really sweet, I can't wait. Hey, what's going on everybody? We are back and I've got the last pieces of, of the greenhouse uh, of the greenhouse ceiling that we need and then it's all done look at this it like comes up at a like a nice angle there on that side a nice angle on that side I also went ahead and uh, placed fertilizer in every one of these crop plots I placed two fertilizers in each one of these large crop plots and I built this whole uh, this whole water system that goes all the way out to the ocean there's some reservoirs here just in case of whatever uh, you don't actually need the reservoirs if your water is coming from the ocean, but I figured it adds a cool aesthetic and why not, right? So uh, these are all ready to be seeded as soon as we get these last three pieces in place. Look at that! Oh, it's done! I'm so excited! So now we've got 300% greenhouse effect. That's awesome. So uh, we can get the... Oh, and I also... Um, found this dung beetle. If you go into the caves and caverns, you um, you feed a dung beetle poop. It's a passive tame, so you have to sneak up behind it and put and feed it poop, and then uh, and then you can tame it. And so you put poop in its inventory, and it gives you fertilizer and oil. And you have to put it on wander. So you put it, so you give it some poop to eat, put it on wander, and then it will make you all the fertilizer that you need. This is gonna be so good. Oh yeah, I have this other uh, poop for you there, big guy, beetle. So, we're all ready. I'm gonna pull out these seeds, and let's do it, all right? So we need some sava root, some long grass, some citronol, and some rock carrot, as well as some medjo berries and some uh, narco berries, at least. These other berries, they're pretty easy to get. We don't need, I mean, we'll, I'll probably plant them because we have so many crop plots, which is just super, super awesome. So let's go, yeah, let's go vegetables here. Okay, oh, what? All right, so we're gonna go sava root here. And that's the potatoes. Long grass seed here, and that's the carrots. Oh, hold on. Long long grass what the heck what happened oh okay no I got this don't even worry guys 
Long grass. Long. Oh my goodness, what's happening here? Okay, we're going to put the long grass back. This is so weird. Is it already seeded? Oh, it already has a seedling. Okay, I was not paying attention to what that was happening. Okay, in citronol, we've got, that's the um, lemons. And then we've got the rock carrot left, and that is the carrots. So we've got carrots, lemons, corn, I think... I don't know if I said that the long grass was corn. I might have said it was carrots. Long grass is corn. Zava roots, potatoes. That's going to be really great. So then let's put our berries over here. Medjo berries and narco berries. Medjo berries are great for taming. Narco berries, of course, are awesome for um, making narcotics. So I think we're going to want... Oh, we're going to want to close this door, first of all. Because our beetles on wander. We're going to want some more narco berries. And then we can get another of each of these vegetables. I think that would actually be pretty good. That would give us so many vegetables. So, oh, we don't have another Sava root, though. That's okay. We have a lot of, we actually have a lot of potatoes already that I've acquired. Rock carrot. Uh, and we have quite a bit of long grass as well. So let's give it mecho berry. And then we'll leave this one. No, let's not leave it. Let's let's add more uh, citronol because I like that. That sounds good to me. Look at this. Now we got our greenhouse up and going. This took a long time, uh, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of crystal, uh, but I'm very happy with this. I think this is excellent, and I cannot wait for this to start producing. So if um, if we find that we're getting enough veggies just from these four, I might put the other berries. The Amar berries, the Azul berries, the Tinto berries in these spots. And we've got um, the seeds for them right in here. Nope, not stone. So this is going to be the, um, yeah, I guess oil and seeds bin. I don't really know. So we've got our fertilizer all in here. And the fertilizer lasts quite a long time. And then we've got the seeds. And then this is our, bil our greenhouse, our extra greenhouse building materials. So... We've got some extra pipes that are in there just in case we ever want to change anything. But look at this. This is just magnificent. This is the best greenhouse I've ever built. Although, to be fair, it's only the second greenhouse that I've ever built. I like it a lot. It's super, super big. We've got lots of large crop plots in there. And we're going to have all the veggies and all the berries that we're going to need. So I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like. And if you want to see the rest of our Ark Survival Evolved on the Xbox One series, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.